Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Welcome to my Facebook Live on Friday. I think this is day 12 of Facebook Lives in a row. And as promised, I am here tonight to provide you with a little distraction. Hopefully a few giggles. You know I'm always kind of good for those, whether intended or not. <laughs> Hi, Terry, Patty, Diana. I see you guys popping in here. Melinda's here from Texas. Welcome. I've got Bonnie popping in. Uh, Leanna. So I thought that what I would do is I would start off um, this Facebook Live by filling you in on what Stampin' Up! has uh, reached out to us with. And I know that I've had several of you asking how things are going at the home office. I also had um, somebody ask me today if they would, if I would fill you guys in on the back order report, let you know what's happening with that. And I am more than happy to do that. I want all my customers, fellow demonstrators, and stamping friends to be filled in with what's happening with the home office and our um, supply of products because as you well know this has kind of slowed this whole pandemic has kind of slowed things down what I do know is that our company has split our um, people in the shipping department into two separate shifts to uh, do the social distancing to keep the employees safe so we've got a 12-hour shift that's working like nights and a 12-hour shift that's working days, which is slowing down getting orders out of the home office, but they're still going out. So it may take an extra day or so, but um, yeah, it's, it's still in production. Terry says she just caught my shaker card video. Awesome. Thank you, Terry. We're going to be making another shaker card today, tonight. And um, I had a lot of fun with these. I haven't made shaker cards in a long time, so it was really fun to do that. I'm glad that was our our um, technique for today with the Totally Techniques design team. So I see a whole bunch more of you coming in. I see Gilmore and Barbara and Joanne. Joanne says, caught you live for a change. Yay! I'm happy to see you here. Chris just popped in. I think, Chris, Chris, were you the one that asked me if I would update everybody on the inventory list? I know that I've talked to you. You know I have a terrible memory, but I do know that I've talked to you in the last day or so. <laughs> Chris is coming to us from Arizona. I see Chris Bach in here. I'm happy to see you here. Deb Wilson, welcome. Um, so what I'm going to do is I just got an email from Stampin' Up. It came about 30 minutes ago. I haven't really had time to read the whole thing, but I thought I'd let you, I'll read it with you. So bear with me. If this isn't something that you want to hear or are concerned with or want to know what's going on, maybe if you didn't get a chance to take a potty break before I came on, you can do that right now because I'm going to read this. <laughs> so it says, Dear Demonstrator, together we are facing unprecedented circumstances with a global pandemic impacting all aspects of how we live and work. Our greatest concern is the Stampin' Up! family around the world, including our demonstrators, employees, customers, and suppliers. We want you to know that we are here for you. In times of uncertainty, connection is more important than ever, and with that in mind, we want to share with you what we're doing to navigate the situation. Supporting our demonstrators is, the, is at the heart of every decision we make. We know that being able to manufacture and ship the products you and your customers order is mission critical. To that end, we have worked to ensure we are set up to maintain production and shipping. Our warehouse and all markets are open for business at the time this email was sent. So that could change drastically and you know it could change from minute to minute. We all know that. We are still manufacturing products to support our current and future catalogs. Beyond the operational side of our business, our sales division has been working with demonstrator leaders around the world to identify the most crucial ways Stampin' Up! can help demonstrators minimize impact to their businesses. And in addition to providing support for running your demonstratorship in a world where most in-person contact is limited, we are also looking for ways to increase our connection and keep our community engaged and supported. And you will see the results of this work in the coming weeks. For our employees, we have implemented a global COVID-19 plan based on guidelines and recommendations from the World Health Organization, the Center, Centers for D Disease Control and Local Governments. We are doing our part to stop the spread of the coronavirus. 
Many employees are telecommuting, including many from demonstrator support. We are practicing social distancing in a few ways. Employees whose jobs cannot be done outside the office have been relocated to new workstations and are physically separated from others. Administrative employees have been assigned building entrances, restrooms, days they can come into the office, etc. Our manufacturing and distribution employees are working alternating days and shifts, which allows them to work at safe distances from each other while fulfilling orders. Employees must stay home if they are not feeling well in any way. We have increased sanitize, sanit, sanitation, <laughs> sanitization, that's what it is. I'm like, I can't say that word. We have increased sanitization practices throughout our facilities and at all our workstations. Our goal is to keep you informed. We continue to communicate primarily through weekly and current updates, so please check in often. That's if you're a demonstrator. We will also utilize other channels such as email and Facebook to connect with you. As always, if you have individual questions, please call or email Demonstrator Support Team and you can reach them at 1-800-STAMP-UP or email them at ds at stampinup.com. And again, the DS part is for Demonstrator Support. These past few weeks are a reminder of just how closely we are connected. Let's continue to work together, encourage each other, and look for and help others find the positive in the world around us. And there you have it. So I was glad to hear from my company um, and I'm glad to hear that the people that I'm familiar with at Stampin' Up, which are DS agents because I talk to them frequently are, you know, I, and I didn't doubt that Stampin' Up wasn't going to take good care of them, but it's, it's good to hear exactly what they're doing, right? So um, Anne says, I was hoping you'd stay open till April. I'm putting together an order for next quarter. Oh yeah, I'll be open. In April. Don't worry, I'll be open in April. Yeah, I'm going to keep this up until we can go places like out to lunch. <laughs> so, so today, I don't know if you saw my story, but I put up a picture of a big plate of nachos. So I really miss going out to lunch. Like, that's my thing. Um, and I really miss it. And so Steve had made tacos the other day, if you remember. I told you guys that. And so today... I didn't want to eat a whole meal, and I'm really missing Friday night fish fries. <laughs> so I made up a plate of nachos with his taco stuff, and oh my gosh, they looked delicious. And I felt like I went out to lunch, like it looked pretty enough that it's like, well, I feel like I like got this at a restaurant. So that's how I am um, teasing myself <laughs> or trying to um, make illusions that I'm out to lunch. So that's what I did today. And I put on fancy earrings again. I bought these for our trip to Arizona also and have never worn them. And since I put on the fancy earrings yesterday, I thought, I'm going to wear the fancy earrings today too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, we're getting a little weird, right? You guys know I'm a little strange anyways, right? That's not a surprise to you because, I, yeah, I'm a little different. It's okay. So I got some mail. Oh, I have to tell you first. So if you guys saw the post um, that looks like a blueprint, and it says looking at the map for some weekend travel ideas. So today, Steve and I traveled into the laundry room and we had a nice visit in there. <laughs> He's been working in the laundry room all day. He's touching up paint and putting a little mud on. He got all the new trim. We got white um, baseboards and molding around the door. And he put in all the new trim. He ripped out the toilet yesterday. Um, he got the trim in. He coped all the edges. It was very fancy. And I'm a woodworker, so I know all this stuff. And I know that can be tricky. And he put some caulk in on the little seams so you can't see them. Because, of course, our walls are all uneven. This is a 120-year-old house, right? And so he touched that all up. He got the new toilet in, put a new water line in for it. Um, what else? He just did a whole, whole bunch of work. He's going to touch up some paint for some little glitches we saw where the paint wasn't really enough coats. I guess that's the way to put it. And um, yeah, it was, uh, it was quite a day in the laundry room. That was our adventure into the laundry room, which is on the other side of that wall right there. <laughs> So I'm looking, I'm going to look at the map for some travel ideas for tomorrow too. <laughs> Diane says, hang in there, Kelly. We, uh, you have been wonderful keeping us, hang on, it's scrolling, keeping us from freaking out with your daily lives. Well, Diane, I may be getting close. 
No, I'm just kidding. I'm fine. I'm actually fine. Haley stopped over today. She actually went. She didn't do anything. She came over and she looked online a little bit and we talked a little bit and then she went home. She wasn't feeling well. She said her stomach felt tight and a little crampy. Oh, wonder what that means. I hope it's nothing. But um, oh, I told you guys I was going to update you on Haley's doctor's appointment. So you know she had an ultrasound yesterday. And oh, I wish I could show you the picture, but it's on my phone. She showed me another picture of Weedley. She looks, she's, her mouth is always so pouty and it's just so cute. The pictures from an ultrasound are incredible to me. It's like crazy. Oh, Chris said it wasn't her. Sorry, Chris. Um, I think maybe it was Lisa that asked me that question. Anyways, did I get my paper pumpkin? Nope, I never did. So I'm supposed to, I need to call Stampin' Up before they close at seven o'clock my time and tell them I never got my paper pumpkin. Haley was going to ask Jared to look at the Nina post office because I did send him a picture of the pretty box. He was going to look around a little bit. <laughs> He's not in charge of that. But anyways, Haley went to her doctor's appointment. She had another ultrasound. The baby looks good. They said she's weighing in at about 5 pounds, 12 ounces, and that she will um, be gaining about a half a pound a week. So that's good. Haley's due on 420. We all know that weed day, right? And... um. Haley asked if she could be induced, and of course she said no. <laughs> and she said that she doesn't anticipate the hospitals are going to lock out um, expectant fathers from being at the birth of their children. And I thought, oh, well that's good because she should have some insider information, right? And then in the next breath, Haley said, and then she said, and if they do, it's for the good of your baby. <laughs> so, in other words, like, tough crap. <laughs> so, no inducing of the baby. And, um, and that's just, it is, that is, it, it is what it is, right? Um, we tried and of course the doctor knows best and we definitely want to make sure. And as my friend Barb said, this last, these last few weeks, all the lungs and stuff are really fully developing. So that's super important, right? For a brand new baby. And especially with the lung virus going around, we want the lungs to be in the best shape they can. Not that we could do anything about it if we didn't, right? Um, which of course we would never do. We would always want the lungs to be good. Anyhow, so that was my fun day today. I was really scrambling. My blog hop, I thought, was supposed to go live at 3 o'clock, but my friends in um, other parts of the world didn't tell me that their time never changed with daylight savings time, so my blog hop really wasn't due till 4. Oh, I was scrambling, you guys. I don't know how many cards I tried to make last night. I'll show you my fails. You want to see my fails? Here's the best one. So I was trying to make um, shaker cards. So here's the remnants of one. Yeah. I was going to do something like this. Yeah. So that it didn't work out. Okay. I, I've got other bits and pieces here from my colossal disaster. And here was another shaker card. Yeah, that one didn't go so good either. Um, <laughs> I think I got some more bits and pieces someplace. But I just could not come up. Here's another piece. Oh, and then I had these. Wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with those. I could not get a shaker card to save my life. So, you know what I did? I think it was about 12.30 I went to bed. I'm like, oh, just give up. I have those times, too. Do you ever sit down to create and you just can't get it together? Like, nothing is working? Ugh. I hate it. And, it. and that only happens to me. Like, I work best under pressure. You guys know I'm a procrastinator. I work best under pressure. I was under pressure last night, but I knew I had until 3 o'clock today and really 4 o'clock if I would have known about the time thing. And so then I really dragged my feet, right? So I didn't start my cards till later last night. And then I'm like, oh, go to bed. This is not working. So then I got up today and I made some shaker cards after I answered all my emails. And can I just say that? Can I just say this? I'm going to say this. Please be nice to people. I have noticed in my interaction with folks, and I do have a lot of interaction over the internet, whether it's from an email or a private message or um, text messaging or whatever. Hi, Haley. I can tell that people are getting cranky. Can I just say that? People are getting cranky. And I think that when we, and I get cranky too, don't get me wrong. When we get cranky, we tend to take it out on people. And so I've gotten just a tad bit of that. And I've also gotten some very nice messages from people that are just saying, hey, did you know this? And I'm like, oh, no, I didn't know that. Those, no problem. But other people are getting a little crabby with me. 
And while I get it, we're all stressed, I just want to remind everybody that the person you're getting crabby with on the other end of whatever type of um, communication you're doing, they're probably a little stressed too in this current situation. So I just wanted to sh give a shout out and remind people to be nice to each other. So um, yeah, people are starting to get kind of cranky with me and I'm kind of feeling like, are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, so anyways. I wanted to share a card that I got today, and this is from my friend Kathy Showalter, who's not cranky at all. <laughs> Kathy. Okay, Kathy sent me this beautiful card. Look at this. And I know it's backwards. There's nothing I can do about it, but are you ready for this? Wow, she made a pop and twist card, and isn't that just so pretty? So Kathy's from Port Washington, Wisconsin, and she says, you are pretty much the best ever. Kelly, using up my DSP, thank you so much for the extra, extra goodies in my kit class. Can't wait to work on it. Thank you also for being a bright and happy moment in my day with all your videos. You are very welcome. And thank you, Kathy, for this beautiful card. I love it. And she is using up her designer series paper, and I love that. Was that my mom? Nope, that was Karen Egan. It looked like Karen Flynn. My mom's name is Karen Flynn, but hi, Karen Egan. <laughs> okay, we're going to put that right up here next to our toilet paper roll and our ladybug. Yeah. Oh, I better get some water. Oh, there's still water in there. Water in my flowers because they smell so pretty that Connie sent me. Thank you very much. Okay, so I have some winners, right? This was what I promised to give away from everybody leaving comments yesterday. Now, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, leave a comment and that will enter you in the drawings for my giveaways. And by gosh, you guys, I'm going to get my office cleaned out by giving away stuff every day, right? <laughs> yeah, this is a good thing. Believe me. So this is the Golden Honey Specialty Designer Series paper. This ran out very early in our celebration. Well, not very early, but it was probably the first was it the first thing to run out? Pretty close. Anyways, I can't remember. You guys know I can't remember anything. But it was one of the first things to run out from our celebration promotion because it was just so popular. And it is so, so beautiful. And our winner from um, putting the YouTube and the Facebook names in a drawing for everybody who leaves a comment. By the way, hit that share button right now. YouTube or Facebook. Hit the share button. Give me a thumbs up. All that stuff really helps me. Okay, back to the winner. We have Michelle Martino from New Jersey is going to get this pack of paper. And Michelle, I have to tell you, I didn't cut the paper yet to six by six because if it was somebody local that I drew their name, I would just, you know, have them stop by and pick this up. But since I have to mail it, I will be cutting it into six by six because mailing 12 by 12 paper costs $10 or more. It's insane. So congratulations, Michelle. I will get that out in the mail to you, whoops, tomorrow. Oh, don't mess up my designs back there, my cards. And then I think I told you guys that I would be doing a drawing for my global friends. So if you don't live in the United States, um, you're not eligible to win the prizes that I give away. But one of my wonderful followers suggested that one thing that I could give as a prize to my global friends those people outside the U.S. that follow me, is an online class because all I have to do is email the PDF file to that person that wins. And I picked a name. So if you're new to me, go to go on to my Facebook page and you're there right now, but you're just going to scroll down the page until you see hands holding a globe that looks like a, it's, a, it's a photo from space. But there's hands holding a, a blue globe and that's the post where if you're from outside the U.S., you want to go and leave a comment there and tell me where you're from. And I did pick a winner from all the people that left messages there. And our winner is Joanne Whitaker from Auckland, New Zealand. Congratulations, Joanne. And I want to tell you, if you're watching, um, please private message me with your email address, number one. And number two... I will then give you the link to all my online classes and you can check them out and see which one you would like to pick. You're going to win an online class. So congratulations. Thank you very much. I think it was maybe Angie who suggested that I do this for my global people. And it was just something that didn't even dawn on me. I didn't even think about it. Thank you also, because that was a fantastic idea. Yeah, I see Lisa's clapping. Yay. 
Hi, Ella. I miss you. And I've got Patricia. Yeah, Patricia says she, she's got three packs of that paper. I know. Now use it, Patricia. You need to use the paper. <laughs> okay. Then I promised that I would give you guys an update on our um, back order situation. So I'm going to do that really quick. And I know for some of you, you're like, oh, I don't want to hear this. But for others, this is kind of important to them. So bear with me, please. Um, I'm looking for dates here. In black embossing powder, and I'll give you the date. So I'm going to say the product and then the date. Um, expected March 30th. Stays on and, well, stays on ink May 11th. Memento Ink, April 27th. Uh, 6 by 6 Subtle Designer Series Paper, April 13th. The So Very Vellum that I told you guys was out because one night I went to place an order and that's what somebody had wanted for their free celebration thing. It wouldn't let me put that in and it said out of stock. So then I made an announcement. Oh, the vellum's gone. I want you guys to know this so that if you're putting in orders, you can, you know, know that you can't get that, right? Well, then the next day... We have 8,000 coming to the warehouse. Yeah, but they'll be in on April 6th. So you can still choose the So Very Vellum. And I'm really sorry about that. Um, back ordered stamp set. Um, Hold on to hope. That's a really great one for making cards for right now, right? April 6th. Tools. Label me lovely. April 13th. Label me fancy punch. April 13th. Parisian flourish folder. April 6th. Stitch So Sweetly Dies, April 13th. Thank goodness they're not going to be gone too long. And the punches, because those are all new and they're fabulous. Uh, next, I'm scanning by some of this stuff because they don't have dates. Um, From My Heart Faceted Gems, April 6th. Champagne Rhinestone Basic Jewels, March 30th. Assorted Pom Poms, April 6th. Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding, I have been waiting for that. April 13th. Saddle Brown Stays On, May 11th. Garden Gateway Dyes, and all these are the same date. Detailed Bee Dyes, Bonanza Dyes, Poppy Moments, and Painted Label Dyes, all April 13th. And then it just goes into low inventory. And yeah, let's see. Are there some non-orderable? Usually that's one of our um, la, 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 not orderable. Oh, a lot of these things aren't orderable. But if you can put the number in, sometimes it'll just say, this is on back order, do you still want it? Say yes. Because when it comes in the warehouse, they'll ship it to you. But they'll send you your order now, but then they'll ship it to you when it when it, when, when it comes in. So you want to say yes. Some of our items, they're not even letting you order them. Because it's too expensive to ship them out separately due to the quantity of people that are going on back order. That's what determines whether they shut it off or not. <sighs> okay. What do you guys got to drink? I had to wet my whistle. You guys know what I'm drinking, right? <laughs> same old, same old, boring strawberry lemonade. It's not boring. I love it. So, yeah. Joe says she needs that white crinkled ribbon. Me too. I love it. Oh, candy's going to be delivered on Monday, her back order. So that's great. Okay. I'm going to move my laptop. Oh, i got to get you guys on my screen here, so hang tight. I'll get you on my screen. I was looking at my travel map. <laughs> Maybe we'll... Oh, I know what we're probably going to do tomorrow. We're going to move all our bedroom furniture from the master bedroom into the bedroom we just had redone. And then Steve's going to start demoing our bedroom. I think he's kind of liking this. Like, he's stuck here, and so he needs additional things to do. So rather than me pay for some guy to come in and do it, he's going to start tearing out the closet and the carpeting and all the things. And that means I need to call the window guys and get them over here to get some new windows in my bedroom because the windows are... Steve, Steve said, yeah, don't open that window because it could fall right out on the ground. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding you guys. Our windows are so bad. Hi, Elaine. Hi, Jenny. Hi, Sarah. Happy to see you. I see Dana coming in here. She's got strawberry lemonade from Wendy's. There you go. Or she says it's the best. Uh, water, water, water sucks the joy right out of my life. <laughs> I hate water. <sighs> you guys know that about me. Okay, so once again, I'm going to squirrel, come back over here, bring you up on my screen so I can flip my camera around. The champagne bling are coming in, and I think it's on April 13th. Who just asked me that? Hang on. Char. Yes, those rhinestones are coming back in. 
I'm grateful for that because they're so, so pretty, aren't they? Okay, I think I missed my own live. Oh, there I am. Thank goodness I don't have to listen to myself. It's bad enough you did. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Mountain Dew, there we go. What brand is my lemonade, Carol? My lemonade is actually part of my program that I lost all the weight on, and it's called Optavia. And it's spelled just like it sounds, Optavia. And I love my lemonade, but it's also a calorie burner, they call it. So I think it's got a touch of caffeine in it. And by the way that I talk, you might agree with me. <laughs> I think so, right? Yeah, I'm pretty jabbery. Okay. Oh, well, look at that. Hang on, I just lost a piece of cardstock here. Okay. Uh, I think we're ready. So I'm going to flip. Let me get my lights adjusted here. We're gonna flip this around and <laughs> Janice says, I love listening to you, you make my day. Well, thank you very much, I'm so glad you're here. <gasps> Ella's got a chocolate malt, I want a chocolate malt. I love malts. Mm. I was gonna get a chocolate shake the other day, but I didn't. But when Haley and I went through the drive-thru at Tom's Drive-In, I did get um, Hot Fudge Sundae and it was delicious. And I'm not gonna apologize for it. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get your lemonade to order? I don't think so. I think you have to be part of the program to actually order that lemonade. But you can um, contact Bev. She's my um, Optavia coach. And if you would like, um, I can hook you up with her if you instant message me and tell me that you would like to talk to Bev. And then she'll tell you all the details. Okay, Niagara Falls. My mom and dad went on their honeymoon to Niagara Falls, Anne. Yeah, so I would like to go there. I've never been there. I'm gonna flip you around. Please close your eyes if you get motion sickness because we don't want anybody throwing up. And, oh, Haley just bought an iPhone tripod so that I can be at the birth of my grandchild virtually. That is awesome. Are you shopping online right now, Haley? You better be. <laughs> From mama. Okay, hang on, we're flipping. There we go. Okay, now, now's when I don't get to see all your comments so much, you guys. So if I miss something that you're asking me, please be relentless. Just keep asking me, and eventually I will see it. So I have got, let me get my computer set up here. Everyone needs to treat yourself once in a while, Sue. That is, that is very correct, and I do. I had nachos today, and they were delightful. Okay, um, Gail says she lost 45 pounds in the Optavia plan. Good for you, Gail, and congratulations. Do you feel like a million bucks? Because I know I do. I lost 40, how much weight did I lose? 47 or 49 pounds on the Optavia plan, and I feel like a different person. Seriously, it's been amazing. <clears throat> so, if you guys saw my blog hop that went live today at 4 o'clock, not 3, um, you will see that I made a shaker card using the Dinah Roar Designer Series paper. Now, this paper is so fun. And, you know, when I was doing a bunch of cards using this suite, I heard from a lot of people, like, I don't have anybody to send those kind of cards to. Really? You don't have some neighbor kids? You don't have some grandchildren or great-grandchildren? You don't know a young mom who could use a box of these cards, these types of cards, as a gift? Give it to somebody. Give her eight cards made with these because she's got to buy cards when her kids go to parties. And so in my video, I said right now would be a nice time to make up some of these cards and give them to a neighbor or somebody with small children and let the children write cards to their friends or their teachers that they miss. Haley's been getting the sweetest comments from her students saying that they miss her so much. And she's been doing videos for them um, I think on a daily basis to keep, you know, to touch base with them. Oh, somebody just rang my doorbell. I hope it's my UPS order. Yes, I think it will be. I've got Stampin' Up! coming in today. So anyways, um, just because you directly don't have a child to make these for doesn't mean that this isn't a great little set that you could make cards for other people. And I just want you to kind of keep that in mind. Anytime we're doing cards that maybe aren't your, aren't usually what you would pick, I guess is a good way to say it. So we've got the Dino Days stamp set. This is so stinking cute, right? Um, you can do new baby, look who's hatched. Thanks for being a friendosaurus. You're rawsome. And then 
like I said in the video, this is my favorite. I love you this much. It's more than it looks. And you stamp it with that little guy with the little chubby hands that stick out. I love you this much. It's more than it looks. That always makes me giggle. I just think it's super duper cute. So we also have the Dino dies. And this pack comes with a lot of dies. I don't know how many are in here. Does it say 12? There you go. 12 different dies. And you can do so many cute things with these. We're going to be using them. And I am, oh, and I wanted to show you this. This is the Dyna Roar enamel shape. So you get all these shapes that match our colors, that match, you know, a dinosaur themed um, scrapbooking or cards. Remember, you can use all of this stuff for scrapbooking too. I am going to bring in all of my bits here. I've got just a big scrap of Whisper White cardstock. Then I've got a piece of Mango Melody. This is four and a quarter by 11, and I've scored it at five and a half. So we're gonna just fold that over right away. Oh, and you know what else I forgot to say in my international video that just went live? I forgot to say anything about how crummy my fingernails look. Like I thought, oh, how embarrassing. You're gonna think that I'm just weird. So I haven't been able to get this acrylic nail off yet, and I can't get that off. But I did get that one off. So slowly, as I come on every day, you'll see more fingernails missing. And boy, they are atrocious. But um, I, I don't, I can't find any fingernail polish. This isn't all clumpy and gross. So, oh, what's that? Probably glue. Um, we'll have to wait until maybe next time Steve goes to the grocery store, I'll make him get me a clear fingernail polish because I haven't gone any place. I'm not. I shouldn't say any place. I am not going to the grocery store. Both of us don't need to be there, right? Exactly. I have a mini glue dot stuck on the end of my phone folder. Hang on. Oh, that's a little bugger. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't even scratch off a mini glue dot with my crappy fingernails that don't have any fingernails on because they're so weak and ugh, yuck. Okay. All right. Back, back to stamping people. Enough about my nails. I had one lady one time, um, I was talking about my fingernails and she left me like the nastiest comment. She goes, I thought this was a crafting video. What is this about your fingernails? I don't care about your fingernails. I thought you were supposed to be crafting. And she said it all in like French. It was all typed in French. Like I wouldn't know how to click on a translate button to read what she wrote. <laughs> and it was a day when I was like, you know, I'm giving you free videos and all you can do is complain. I blocked her from a YouTube channel. <laughs> I was a little snarky that day. Okay, old olive scrap. Pretty peacock scrap. I can't believe I told you that, but I did. Whisper white scrap. This is four by five and a quarter. Julie knows my pain about my nails, right? Your appointment was today. Well, Haley got in right before they closed the salons and made everybody stay home. I wish I would have gone, but I drug my feet on it. This is the Dyna Roar. Look at how cute that is. Dyna Roar Designer Series Paper. And this piece is three and three quarters by five and a half. Then I have two pieces of our window sheets. Now, if you've never ordered window sheets, it, they come in a 12 by 12 pack like this. You get two sheets of them, which is a lot of window sheets because you don't use great big pieces of them. But um, you cut them in your paper cutter just like anything else. And this is really high quality window sheets. This is not some cheap junky stuff. So um, Sharon says you are so real. That's why we love you. <laughs> oh, Debbie. Hang on. I got to read Debbie's comment. They will come off fairly easy without much damage. Get the Sally's Acetone Nail Remover. Soak in a cotton ball and place it on your nails. Wrap in foil. Yeah, I know that, Debbie. Thank you for telling me that, though. I know that. But here's the deal. My nails are so weak from having acrylic nails on them, like they bend over like paper, that I'm thinking I'll just wait out chipping them off rather than to put acetone, which is really like um, toxic isn't the right word. It is toxic, but it's really, really hard on your nails. And I think I'll just, I'll just keep, like I chipped a little bit off here. So I'll just keep chipping them off and I'll get them. This, I can't get off. I'll get them off eventually. But thank you for that tip because, you know, I appreciate it. I don't know everything. Rhonda says she's soaking her nails off this weekend. Well, good luck with that because, um, yeah, that's, uh, my nails are just, they're, they're gross after you get acrylics off. Anyways, okay, we're going to keep going. I just got a little, this is a scrap and it's three quarters of an inch. We're going to cut it down for the inside of our card. 
Then, of course, you know what I'm doing with this, you guys, because I want my cards to be stinking adorable. I am going to do an envelope flap, of course. Kathleen says, get the fake ones for now. I don't even think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to take them all off and paint them clear and let them rest. Because I don't like doing my nails. I'm not good at it. And after you take acrylics off like this, you're, if you put fingernail polish on them, it only stays on for like six hours before it starts flaking off because your nails are so yucky. Now, make sure before you put your flap on that you don't have it upside down. You guys remember when I did that? Yeah. Almost. Almost as bad as when I cut the slit in the wrong spot on the cards we made yesterday. <laughs> but you know when I do stuff like that, then I think it makes you go, oh, don't do what Kelly did. <laughs> I hope that's what you're saying. Or are you going, oh, that knucklehead? <laughs> and laughing. Because if you laugh when you call me a knucklehead, we're good. We're all good. I don't mind being called a knucklehead if there's a little chuckle with it. <laughs> but just don't be crabby with me. Okay, here we go. Uh, ooh, I kind of cut some of my envelope there. Try to stay outside of that. Look at how adorable that is. I love this paper. I love bright, colorful paper. Okay, next. Uh, let me see. What do I have to do here? I am going to bring in my layering circles. So I've got a circle, and I'll tell you, you know, this has to be about as big as whatever sentiment you're going to use. So this one is actually one and seven eighths inch round. And what I'm gonna do with this is, uh, here we go. I gotta get my scrap here. We're gonna do some die cutting. Okay, let me bring my big shot in. Let me get myself together, hang tight. I'm a little discombobulated right now. Here comes our big shot. Boom, big daddy in the house. I love this thing. I'll never forget when we went to a Stamping Up um, conference and our um, CFO is Scott. I can't remember his last name. He used to be a professional baseball player. Um, but he came out and did a demonstration with the Big Shot. And instead of calling it the Big Shot, he called it the Big Scott. And oh my gosh, it was just hysterical. Okay, did you see the other circle? Here it is. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a pretty peacock circle. And I like to do this to make a frame for any type of a window. Frames are really nice. So we did that. We, we're not really gonna use this. We're gonna use what's left here. Now we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it and try to center it really nicely over the hole that we have and we're gonna make a little frame and I just got some temporary tape did I show this tape to you guys this is low tack artist tape by scotch works great and then we're gonna die cut our frame and then oh, wait for it wait for it here we go da -da -da. Look at that. Isn't that cool? That's how you make little frames. And you can do it in any size that you have layering shapes for. It doesn't have to be a circle. You could do squares. You could do triangles. You could do whatever. But that's what I just made here. So I'm going to set that aside for now. Then I'm going to bring in my designer series paper layer. And I want my window for the front of my card to be about right here. Right in the center, up towards the top. So I'm going to die cut that. Here we go. I'm going to put this back in my designer series paper because I may use it for something else, right? You never know. We're hoarders like that, right? We got to stick together, but we got to use our designer series paper. But don't get rid of the little pieces. <laughs> okay, next we're going to do just a little bit of stamping. So let me set this off to the side. Here comes our scrap, and I decided that I wanted my dinosaur, and what is this tall one called? I can't remember. Um, I don't know. The, the long, this is the gas station dinosaur. Do you guys remember that? What was that called? <laughs> I remember when I was a kid, there was a gas station that had a green dinosaur, and they had like 
Great big giant dinosaurs outside of these gas stations. That's when I lived in Missouri, which was a very long time ago. So here comes my pretty mango melody dinosaur. And how cute is he? And you know what? As long as we're there, I think I would like to have some spots on my dinosaur. So I'm going to grab the spotty stamp. And hang on, I gotta get a block. A girl's got a million blocks sitting all over until you need one, right? Ugh, hate that. <laughs> Here comes pretty peacock, and I'm just gonna stamp that right on my dinosaur. How cute is that dinosaur? Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to stamp our front greeting. I can leave this out, I guess. The pretty peacock. And I've got, thanks for being a friend of Saurus. Now, I decided that I'm going to make these cards for my nieces and for my, I've got two nieces and a nephew with my sister, um, little kids. Well, the nie one of the nieces is 16, but then the other kids are little. And so I've got, I'm going to end up with three shaker cards from the videos that I've done. And I'm going to use these to send to my nieces and my nephew who are staying with my mom right now. Now, I'm bringing in my little guillotine cutter, and I'm just going to trim this, and then we're going to cut this off. There is no size on this layer. You just need to leave it like, oh, maybe like two and a half by two and a half, or three by three, or whatever, but you'll get it in a second. Now, we're going to bring in our dinosaur, and remember, this little cutter has some chocolate on it. Don't tell, Bev. <laughs> um... This little cutter is free when you join my team as a discount shopper or a business builder. It's your choice. I will never push you to do more than you want to do. Uh, we're going to die cut this. And I'm bringing back the big shot. Boy, these things are heavy, aren't they? It's good. That's good exercise for the girls, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you lift that big shot up a few times. You get some good muscles. Okay. Here we go. So I am going to put my dinosaur in here. Did we decide what this guy was called yet? I missed it if you told me. A something saurus. <laughs> you know when the set first came out, I actually looked up the different kinds of dinosaurs so I would not sound like an idiot. Not unlike I sound right now. Because <laughs> I can't remember. Okay, so here's our one dinosaur. And then I want the little spiny thing, which is right here. Oh, do I want that? I don't think I do. Well, I'll cut it out for you anyways. I don't think I want a spiny thing. We'll see. But it's pretty cute. Hang on. I think this just moved. It did. That little stinker. Hang on. There. I nailed him down. Okay, here we go. I like to cut a brontosaurus. Judy is the first one that I see here. Thank you so much. Yes. I told you it was a saurus, didn't I? Mm-hmm. My mad dinosaur skills. Okay, here comes our dinosaur. And I'm going to put my dies back so I don't lose them. Because in my last video, I lost one of them. I couldn't find it. And then I messed around forever. I was late getting my video uploaded. And then it took forever to upload to YouTube. It was just a whole thing. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, I think, oh, we have a little bit more stamping to do here. Hang on, I'm having a hot flash. <sighs> um, our card is gonna be tall, so we're gonna do it this way. And what I wanted to do, I wanted to take my pool party ink, and I'm gonna stamp the Barney dinosaur and if you guys have any kids that are around Haley's age Barney was the bomb we sang the I love you you love me we're a happy family yeah that's all I'm gonna sing for you because you'll thank me <laughs> um but Barney was just we loved Barney and I loved watching Barney and we read all the Barney books and we watched all the Barney shows and it was just a whole Barney thing going on. This little guy is so stinking cute and that's where his little hands are sticking out there. I love you this much, but it's more than it, it's more than it looks. And I love that. Just thought that was so cute. 
Did anybody see my glue? Right here. Okay. Oh, look, I got ink on my fingers. Hang on. This is why we own baby wipes. Let me... I don't want to ruin my cards for the kids, right? There we go. Okay. You guys ever take a baby wipe and then throw it someplace and it gets on your card and ruins it? Who's done that? Who's done it like a hundred times? <laughs> you would think a person would learn, wouldn't you? Yeah, I never, I've never, I've never done it. Oh, Trisha said I had a beautiful voice. You are too sweet. So, um, I really can't sing at pretty much at all. But one time when we were at my uncle's house for around the holidays, I was singing a Christmas carol because I'm not shy. I know that's probably shocking to you. So I was just walking in the kitchen. I was singing like, la, 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 la. And he goes, oh, do you sing in the choir? And I'm like, oh, no, they pay me not to. <laughs> No, I don't sing. I'm not a good singer. Haley's a really good singer. Anna's a really good singer. Did you guys know that my stepdaughter, Stephanie, sings in a band? Yeah, the Dwellers. She sings in a band. They're out of Fond du Lac. If you ever want to see that, you can look them up on Facebook. The Dwellers, out of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. She's an amazing singer. She's got just the most beautiful voice. I love to go watch her and her band play because they're a fun, like, country rock band. I'm not a country music fan at all, but I just, she sings the Atlanta, the, my favorite are the Atlantis Morissette songs. She's got that deep voice and, oh, the whole band is just amazing. And they're really fun. They're a party band. Okay, so we just glued that on there. And isn't that a nice pop of color? I love this. Next thing we're going to do now is we're going to bring in, let's get this ink pad closed before we have some, oh, and in my video, I lost these because of course you can't see them because they're clear, right? Okay, so I am going to get the hair off of them. Um, oh, I know, here's the inside of my card. So the front of my card is, whoops, the front of my card is gonna be pretty busy. I didn't want these little elements to get lost. So I thought I would wait and I'm using the spatula end of my take your pick tool and I'm just going to put them right on the inside and I thought that looked really cute right there, right? And you can see that it's shiny so that's kind of a neat and it's very, very low profile too. Like it won't make extra money in your envelope. You know what I mean. Um, then, now we're going to find our... Did you see it? You guys... Here they are. Those darn things. Oh, I'm going to use snail adhesive. Anytime I use like vellum or um, uh, foil paper, I always like to use the snail. It seems to stick better to it. So I just put some snail, one, two, three, four pieces of it, right over the window. Okay? And now I'm going to grab my... Um, Adhesive strips. Hang on, I'm looking for the ones. Okay, so here's a little tip. If I were making a square, let's say my square was this long, I would take my scissors and cut these just a little bit longer so I could just peel off pieces of them. When you're making a circle, these are really long and you can come in here and pull one of these off and now you can frame your circle. Now you want to stay out a little bit away from the edge of your die cut circle because when somebody looks at your card from the front you don't want them to see all this um, adhesive strip thing, right? So you want to keep that hidden just a little bit by staying a little bit away from the edge. Not too far though. And then I'm going to bring it up here. I'm just going to set it there for a second. Make sure that you get it up nice and snug, but, but the two ends up against each other. There we go. Okay, so here's my genius idea. Now, what we used to do with shaker cards is we would now put our stuff in there, peel that off, and then once you peel this off, if you bump your card, your shakers get stuck all over in your, um, in your adhesive, so that's always fun. And then we'd go like this, and then we'd try to, so how do you, do you do like this? Do you get your head under there and try to line that up in there? Da, da, da. That's horrible. It's horrible. So what I'm going to do is, let's see, what color do I want? Do I want these, or do I want the, I think I'm going to use the iridescent. So we've got 
the um, woven threads. These are super pretty. Look how pretty they are. They're all sparkly too. Like there's a lot of bling going on in there. We've got the Peaceful Poppy sequins. These are all so beautiful. And then we've got the Iridescent sequins. And these are the ones I'm going to use. So, oh, did you see that? Where did my... I didn't take that off yet, but it's gone. Did it stick to something? Oh, here it is. Okay, so peel that off first. <laughs> see, I just spilled them. <laughs> like, really, Kelly? Peel off the backing and, and be careful with it so that you don't jiggle it around so your sequins get stuck on it. But the reason why I peel it off now is because if you start bouncing that, those will jump around and then they do get stuck in the adhesive. So just put some little sprinkles of them in here. You don't want to put, hang on, I got a hair in there. So, oh, that's underneath. Um, you don't want to put too much in there that it's going to cover up your greeting. So then the problem comes in. What do you do now? How do you get that on there? How do you know this is going to be in the center? No, no, no. Take another piece of window sheet and put that in there. And now you can bring this up here and put your greeting in there and nobody will know. <laughs> right? Look at how fun that is. I love these. Okay, so now you have to get this on here straight. So what I do is I'm just going to put this right in the center. I'm going to grab my Amish tape. I just still love that card that had the top 10 reasons to love me or something that had. She uses that Amish tape like a boss. That was hysterical. Okay, there we go. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Now, the one thing I will tell you about the... Let me close these up before that turns into a disaster. I will tell you about this stuff is that it's thicker than dimensionals. And if you don't have any of this, add it to your next order, first of all. But secondly, if you're saving your dimensional sheets, this straight line is a good thing to use for a shaker card. See, so I've got all of these. Look at this. I've got all these edges. Those are perfect to use for shaker cards. So keep that in mind. So you're not throwing those away. Or maybe if you want to make a bunch of shaker cards, you're saving them for that purpose. That's a good idea. Um, we're going to take the back of this now. And I'm going to add some pieces of adhesive strips. Because like I said, this is a little bit taller. These are a little bit taller than dimensionals. So I don't want to put dimensionals on them because then my sides other than this part, will will be lower. It looks goofy. Just trust me. If you guys, you can understand, does that make sense? What I'm saying? If you try it, you'll understand what I'm saying. Just do what I'm telling you. <laughs> wow, that was bossy, wasn't it? Trust me. Trust me. I'm your friend. Okay, so, oops. Here we go. So I've got all those little pieces on there. And now we're ready to put this... Oh, now I don't have any fingernails. How about that? That's shocking. Ready to take all these little pieces off. Make, make sure you squish them down good. But these are like our dimensionals. This is the trickiest part. And it's funny too, when you're used to having thick acrylic nails, you it's hard at first, but then you start getting used to them and then you don't have them anymore. Now you can't get your fingernails to work. That's what happens, right? Okay, so we got all the backings off of these. I'm also going to just put, I didn't do this in my video because I forgot. So you guys are getting the better, <laughs> the better card. I'm going to take this and center it on here. That looks great. Okay. Now, um, if you wanted to, you could put another layer under here. But I decided this was good enough. But I see that I, I'm not doing too well here with my cutting. So let's see if I can trim this off like a boss. Brought out the big daddy scissors. I love these things. I wish we still sold them. There we go. Okay, so cutie patootie. Look at how cute that is. Okay, and then... We're going to take this guy now, maybe, we're going to take him or her, 
and I'm going to tie a little bit. Oh, this isn't the right kind of ribbon though. Like this is a different color than I used before. Hang on. I don't know if we're going to do anything on here with ribbon. I don't think we are because I used this. I'll show you the other card that I made. I used this and tied it around my dinosaur's neck. Oh, maybe I could use baker's twine. Ooh. Hang on. I'll be right back. There. I'm going to use linen thread. That'll work. This will be super cute. And then I'll show you what I did with that crinkled ribbon on my boy card. So here comes my bow jig. Do I want to do a little tiny bow, do you think? Yeah, we're stamping on the fly again, people. <laughs> Sometimes. And I'm telling you, so when I get done doing this video tonight, I should start working on my kits. I've got my birthday bonanza kit. My order just came. You heard the doorbell, or maybe you didn't. I'll tell you the doorbell rang. UPS was here with my kit with my order. So all my stuff just came from my birthday bonanza kit and the rest of the welcome Easter kits. And when I get done tonight, I should work on that. But I think tonight is going to be the night I go put on my pajamas and go watch my movie Gone Girl because I still have not achieved that. This whole coronavirus thing has kept me busy, I'll tell you that. I know some people are sitting at home bored and I am like going crazy. I think we'll do right here. I'm just gonna put a little mini glue dot there. And then I'm gonna put, oh, look how cute he is, or she. And then, now you can use dimensionals on other things on your card, right? So I'm going to bring in some mini dimensionals. Oh yeah, this'll work. Got just a few left on here. This'll fit perfectly on his little Head. What kind of dinosaur was this? Brontosaurus? Was that is that right? I think that's what Tyrannosaurus? I don't know. No, that's the mean one, isn't it? That's the one. So I love the movie um Jurassic Park and Jurassic World. Like I don't know why. I just really like those. Okay, we're gonna take this guy and we are going to put him. Meh. <laughs> do you guys do that when you drop something? Like make all kinds of noises. And we're going to put our little friendosaurus right up here. Look at, oh, I thought, look at that hair inside there. But it wasn't. It was just on the front. <gasps> look how cute it is. And then we have an envelope. Ta-da! What do you guys think? Pretty cute, right? Now, that was pretty easy to make, wouldn't you say? Like, that was pretty easy. Oh, and we didn't use this part, but I'll show you. This part goes on Barney. Mm, oh, it goes on this guy right here. <laughs> and I happen to have one, so I'll show it to you in real life. Hang on, I lost this from someplace. Let me put this back. That came off of there. Oh my Lord, I've made such a mess. Who can relate? Everybody's relating to my mess. I know. Okay, so here's our cute little shaker card. And then here's the other one I made. So this is the boy version. This is going to be for a girl. I could have made it pink, but I already made a pink card. Hang on, let me grab that one. I already made... Oh, here's my here's my envelope to go with that one. It's dinosaur -y, right? So I did this little scarf, so I tied this around his neck, and then I used a mini glue dot to keep it folded down like a scarf. I don't, I'm not sure if dinosaurs wear scarves or not, but mine does. <laughs> and I used the woven threads in here, the woven thread sequins versus the iridescent for the Mango Melody card. So I think both of them match really good. And then we've got the inside here. Oh. I stamped the spiny thing on our Barney dinosaur with Mango Melody. So that's super cute, right? And then this was the card that I made for the um, hmm, blog hop. And I used the layering squares here. And then this is Lovely Lipstick. 
pool party. There, see the spines or whatever they're called. Put my little bow right up there. And I use the woven threads on the inside. And then my card opens like this. So yeah, cutie patootie. Oh, and my envelope. So now I can send cards up to my mom's house for Emma, Jasmine, and Tommy. And I think they're gonna love them. And I'm gonna do that. And if I'm a really good auntie, I might go get them, I don't know, McDonald's gift certificate. I'm probably not that good. <laughs> I should I probably won't maybe I will who knows I might be I might be their favorite auntie <laughs> okay so don't forget you guys that this where'd my catalog go this um, designer series paper is free with your $50 order right now until March 31st which is next Tuesday so the Dino Roar designer series paper you can get the follow your art or the woven threads or any of these other items, but this paper is really super cute. I absolutely love it. And some of these designs are really, really can be used for cards other than little kids, right? The others are dinosaur, but this one, this one, this one, and this one, they have nothing to do with dinosaurs. They're just really pretty. And there's also, um, where'd my stamp set go? Here it is. There's also this spriggy leaf and this tree there's dies in here for both of these. Two. What do I got going on here? Oh, there we go. So, um, oh, here's the tree. Here's the uh, spriggy palm leaf thing that you can make. That's really cool. There's a um, pterodactyl. Look, did you see? That's my mad dinosaur skills right there. Pterodactyl. And then you've got these little dies where you can die cut um, circles and stuff out of your dinosaurs. This is for the wings on the pterodactyl. It leaves like little scaly looking things. Here's some little triangles to cut out of your um, dinosaurs. Here's that half of an egg. So you can make like a baby card where with the look who's hatched. But anyways, the paper is what sparked me to use my Dynaroar suite again, and I love it because it's super cute. But you can get any of these things with your qualifying order. And um, what else? Oh, I know. Let's see, tomorrow is Saturday, and oh, let's flip the phone around. We're gonna flip the camera around so that I'm not talking to the back of your head. You know that I hate that. I want to see your comments coming in. Um, whoops. <laughs> That's the other side of my room. <laughs> yeah. And it's not too bad looking right now. Thank goodness. That would be embarrassing. Usually it's just piled with stuff everywhere. Um, this is what we're going to be giving away tomorrow. So make sure that you leave a comment on in the comments on Facebook or YouTube later if you're watching the replay. And I will be loading these videos up to YouTube and then putting them on my blog because I have some people that follow me on my blog that don't follow me on Facebook or YouTube. But what I found is that I'm basically doing a Facebook Live, well, I'm doing a Facebook Live every day, but the work that goes behind the scenes once I'm done is pretty astronomical. And so, I feel like I need to pull back a little bit and the way that I'm going to do that is I'm probably just going to put one picture in the video on my blog and that's it from these Facebook lives because I want to share with my bloggers too. I don't want to leave them out but I'm not going to put a whole blog post together because it's just too much. Um, I've been doing it but there's hours that go after I'm done being live with you to get all the things in place that I do for my business when I have a Sunday night Facebook live. So I just want to let you guys know that. And like I said, when I first started doing the daily Facebook lives, then I'm not going to type up dimensions and do all of that. You're going to have to write them down. But from Sunday night, which is my regularly scheduled Facebook live, I will continue to do everything like I have. Everything will go to my blog. There'll be lots of pictures there. There'll be a shopping list. I will have the dimensions there for you. But the ones that I'm doing every day, you're going to have to write down the the dimensions as we're doing the video. And I know you guys will understand, right? We don't want to burn me out. <laughs> yeah, so as soon as I get done doing all of that with this video tonight, I think I might take the night off. 
kind of excited. I haven't, I literally have taken no time off since the week that my anniversary started last week because then all this coronavirus stuff hit and then I thought, well, I can do Facebook Lives every day and I, and I certainly can. I love, this is the easy part right here. Um, I love doing my Facebook Lives. It's just all the work that goes behind them and I was kind of still doing it like I do my Sunday Night Lives and I'm going to discontinue that part. Like I'm not going to do all the behind the scenes work except for the Sunday Night one. Lots of thumbs up, you guys. I really appreciate it. I just want you to know why my blog posts aren't going to be the same if you head over there, okay? Because I need to pull it back just a little bit. Does anybody have any questions that I missed? I see Rhonda's here and Wendy. Um, I deserve a night to relax. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I know. And so I'm a little concerned because our TV doesn't have smart TV capacity in the living room and Steve mounted it on the wall so like all the cords are inside the wall and the whole thing you know and so we used to have a Wii connected to it well the Wii's still on it but they took out the streaming capabilities with the Wii we used to be able to go into the Wii and watch Netflix and Amazon on our living room TV and now we can't so then I bought a Roku which is a power stick of you know this Amazon like like the fire stick from Amazon, I bought a Roku. But because the TV's mounted on the wall and there's like no cords anywhere, we don't know where the plug-in is for it and you would have to unmount the TV to get it. So Steve's like, no. So I'm hoping that my on-demand will have Gone Girl. That's, that's what I'm getting at. I wanna watch Gone Girl. Somebody else told me that that Tiger King is good too, but that's on Netflix and we can't get Netflix in the living room. So maybe I need to work on my husband before he starts in the bedroom to get the, get the Roku put in the living room TV. Maybe that's what I need to work with. I don't know. Anyways, so um, I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I don't know when. I have no idea what I'm making. It'll be something fun. And, um, yeah, thank you for sharing my video, Linda. I really appreciate it. For those of you that may came on, may came on late. How about that? For those of you that came on late, um, if you would click on that share button, I really, really appreciate it. Um, oh, Lisa says her Wii doesn't work anymore. Urgh. Linda hasn't seen Gone Girl either. I haven't either, but I read the book and it was so weird, right? It's a weird book. And then I read all that lady's books. They're all pretty good. Like, they're kind of crazy, but they're good. I'm reading a book right now. I don't know what it's called. When I go to bed at night, I read my Kindle. And it's something I can do that doesn't disturb Steve because I can't hear as good as he can. So when I come to bed, if, if the TV's on, I want to turn it up. But then he's like, turn on the TV. It's better now that he's not working anymore. But he used to get really cranky when he had to get up at 3 in the morning. Um... So when I go to bed, I read my Kindle and I probably only read like one or two pages before I pass out, but I really enjoy that. And I'm reading a book right now. I'll have to find out what the title of it is, but it's just strange. I can't quite figure it out yet. I just started it. I have no idea what's going on and I kind of hate that. But Gone Girl was really good and so were the other two books that lady wrote. They're really good if I'm thinking of the right author. So anywho... Um, yeah, last night I was so tired. I went to bed, I got my Kindle, I turned it on and I laid it on my, on my stomach and I just didn't even open it. <laughs> Watched some stupid movie with zombies, just a little bit of it. It had, um, that guy from Saturday Night Live in it. It was weird. Anyways, I'll let you guys go. I know I'm just rambling. Um, I hope you have, Gone Girl is on, what did she just say? Gone Girl is on FXM. Where did it go? FXM. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. FXM tomorrow at 1230 a.m. Ooh, look at that. Because I, I have kind of a, I'm a cable TV whore. <laughs> I have like all the channels. Mm. Yeah, so I should be able to find it someplace. Okay, your husband could sleep through anything, Linda. That's me. I could sleep. There'll be like huge storms and lightning and thunder and pouring rain and blowing wind and I'll wake up in the morning there'll be like leaves and branches and I'm like wow what happened <laughs> I have no idea <sighs> because when I go to sleep I do a really good job at it. I'm 
very good at sleeping. When I go to sleep, I'm sleeping. Not paying attention to what's going on. <laughs> I'm like your husband. <laughs> I can sleep through anything too. Okay, so there we go. I'm going to let you go. I'll get this video uploaded to YouTube and onto my blog with a picture, some pictures of these cards because they're really cute, aren't they? And then I'm going to address them and send them to the kids. Yay! And they're going to be like freaking out because they got mail because kids don't get mail, but they're going to get mail now. I love it. All right, you guys, have yourself a wonderful Friday night and I will see you back tomorrow sometime. Bye-bye.